Strawberry Shortcake Pets on Parade is not bad, but I do have a problem with one of the characters. It's not so much the character, more the things they say. But I will go into detail about that in a little bit. This is a special from 1982. And this is, probably needless to say, about a pet parade. It's about a pet show and a competition. And everybody's excited about this. We get to have the perspectives of the pets as well as the other characters which i thought was rather nice and we're not just talking cats and standard pets we have some other animals as well which i thought was quite sweet however not everything is straightforward because purple pieman and sour grapes both of whom i think are brilliantly written characters are planning on cheating and spoiling things for everybody. And of course, we have a strong message here about not cheating, because that's not the right thing to do. But we also have a message about accepting people for who they are. And I'll talk about that character or the character that brings that message about in a moment. But everybody can be loved and everybody deserves love. And I think that that's a really sweet message. The pacing of the episode or the special is really great. The whole thing is about, I think, about half an hour, 25 minutes, and it never felt slow. It never felt rushed. No problems with the pacing of the narrative. We have a whole range of different characters and animals, and that obviously helped to keep it quite interesting. As villains, I really liked Sour Grapes and Purple Pie Man. I thought they were pretty interesting, so that was uh, enjoyable as well. But we do have the character of Angel Cake. And I didn't, I didn't like her. She's a new character to the area and Strawberry Shortcake is really nice to her. That's really lovely to see. But there is something specific about the character or things that she says that I don't like. But I will, with a spoiler warning, discuss those in a moment. And I'll also mention another character as well, who I did actually quite like. So it's not my favourite Strawberry Shortcake special in general. But it's a nice enough story, generally well executed, the animation's not too bad, we have a really nice colour palette, we have a lot of pinks and purples, which I, I personally rather love. And as an animal fan, the pet aspect certainly appeals to me. So there are a lot of good things about this, but it's not my favourite, and I will now mention... Well, I'll mention a character that I loved, but I'll also mention the problems with Angel Cake. So this is all I have left to say about this. If you're a fan of Strawberry Shortcake, I'd say check it out. And I will now mention some spoiler information that I, I want to talk about quite briefly. So spoilers from now. The character I loved is the skunk. And the skunk doesn't even have a name to begin with. It does get a, a name at the end. But the skunk is somebody, obviously it's a skunk. Everybody runs away from it. But we find out at the end that actually there is somebody there to love the skunk. And this, of course, is Angel Cake. And I have to say... In Angel Cake's credit, that was definitely a lovely thing to do. And the skunk found somebody to love him, and the skunk did well in the competition. And I really liked that character, and I liked what the character brought about. However, Angel Cake's a bit more problematic. And there are a few things that she said that I, I don't think belong in a, in a children's show, in a children's TV special, because I feel like it can be quite problematic. And she tells Strawberry Shortcake that she's not eating lunch today because she's on a diet. That's not something children should even know is a thought that they can have. Yes, encouraging healthy eating is always great. I feel like Strawberry Shortcake is not the TV series to do that. But telling children or, well, telling them that... Angel Cake is on a diet, so she's skipping lunch. That's that's not good information to give to children. And she then, <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake asks her, you're eating candy? And I, Angel Cake replies, if I don't think about the calories while I'm eating it, they don't count. Which I did think was a little funny, but not necessarily the right message to give to children either. I'm not completely against young children learning about calories. I think it's important, but obviously there are right ways and wrong ways to do it. And I just feel like this was very poorly handled. And then at the end of the episode, Angel Cake ruined the really beautiful moment she had with the skunk. The skunk wins the competition and she decides to call the skunk souffle, which I thought was really sweet. But she said to the skunk, souffles are lighter than angel cakes, so you're going to have to go on a diet. Excuse me? 
I don't understand. First of all, the skunk wasn't exactly plump. It's not like we have this massive oversized skunk. And just constantly talking about diets and giving children, because this is obviously aimed at children, some really bad problematic messages. Obviously, it's not the main theme of the show. So if they don't pay that much attention to it, it might not be that problematic. But I feel like there's a right way and a wrong way to teach children about healthy eating and moderation and Pets on Parade really messed it up. I think they did a really bad job with it. That being said, I've never heard a child or I've never heard of a child developing mental health problems as a result of watching Strawberry Shortcake. So maybe I'm overthinking it, but at the same time, that doesn't mean it's acceptable because if they're doing it in this episode, are they doing it in other episodes? I haven't seen every single strawberry shortcake special or tv episode so i'm hoping that this was a one-off and it was just badly written written by romeo muller interestingly who writes so many fantastic things but hopefully it's just a product of its time it's from the early 80s and it's not something that happens again and again in strawberry shortcake because there's a time and a place and a way when it comes to teaching children about healthy eating and having a healthy diet rather than actually dieting and unfortunately I think they did a very poor job with it but the rest of it not too bad not my favorite but Pets on Parade was not a bad special.